Hello everyone, I am back as promised to, to, to talk, if I can talk, to talk about Phyllis Botox, um, Revive, Profilo, Nucleophil, not in real real depth because I'm not hugely knowledgeable on those things but talk about what I've had done and my experiences. Um, I recently had Phyllis done. Um, I had Phyllis done many years ago, uh, probably about seven years ago under my eyes and I had a tiny bit put in my lips and recently I went back and decided right I want more fillers and I I just look in the mirror and I felt really old but no I'm not really old I just felt older. The thing was I had chemo and I didn't feel like this before I had chemo, so I don't know whether it was because I lost my hair, I'm not really sure of the reasons, but after I had chemo, felt great straight away afterwards, and then I started to notice my skin was changing a bit. My neck has changed a lot, uh, there's not really much I can do about that, I have just had a little bit of um, microneedling to see whether I can kind of rejuvenate that a little bit, but also my skin felt different, the texture felt different, the thickness felt different, it didn't feel as plump, it felt like my skin was more hanging on the bone, and I tried to use things like um, New Face, I spent money on buying one of those New Face devices, and I would spend half an hour a morning using it, and I don't know whether I felt like it looked better or it was just in my mind, but because I was putting so much moisture on, I suppose, it felt like it was doing something, but not enough. I And I was like, I'm losing half an hour every day and this is not doing enough. You know, it's not giving me the results that I really, really want. So I looked into having some filler and to have other stuff done, really. So I went and saw Alexis Granite. Um, she did my Profilo once a long, long time ago, and I'll touch on that in a minute. She did my Profilo once, and I just really, really like Alexis. So I contacted her, well, Sarah Chapman, which is where she works from, booked an appointment, went and saw her and told her all of those things I've just told you. I said, I'm just, I just look in the mirror and my face just looks sad all the time. I feel like it's like that all the time and I, it just makes me really unhappy. Um, I don't mind the structure of my face, I just want it tighter. Um, so first off she said, right, okay, what we should do is we should try, she said, Have you've had Profilo before, how did you feel about it? I said, I liked it, but it was, it didn't last very long. Um, I liked that it made my skin look a little bit plumper straight afterwards. I also liked that it made my skin look more even and more radiant, but just wasn't enough. And that was my problem. These things didn't seem to be enough. So she was like, okay, well, let's do, this was after a consult consultation. A consultation is £300. So then I went back to see her and I went back on the 18th of April and we had a plan in, in line. So the plan was that I would have Revive over the face, which is the same as, or similar, I won't say the same, similar to Nucleophil, um, Profilo and Revive. They all sit kind of in the same family. So they're a skin booster, so they'll help with making the skin look plumper, a little bit more even in colour, um, the texture better, a little bit more moisturised within, so the skin naturally looks a little bit more healthy and a bit fuller. Um, I knew this wouldn't be enough for me, so I said, please, can I have a little bit of filler? And it's something that we spoke about quite a lot, and we decided to go for a filler that could be um, dissolved, purely because I have an autoimmune disease, and if you have an autoimmune disease, this is my understanding of it anyway, if you have an autoimmune disease um, and you have filler, your body can sometimes go to fight the filler and get rid of it, and then it can make it a little bit swollen in that area. Um, obviously there's loads of other complications but that's the main one from what I understand for an autoimmune disease. So we went for a dissolvable filler just in case. I had had fillers under my eyes before like I said and I had had them on, in my lips before and I'd never reacted. So we were pretty sure I wouldn't but just to be really careful we went for um, fillers that could be dissolved. So I've got a chart of where I've had stuff done. I had Revive to revive my skin, put the hydration back in, make it look plump, even the skin tone out, help with the redness of my skin. And then I had fillers and Botox. So I went in and I had all of these done on the 4th of April. Here's my chart that I've drawn up for you. So here is where I had all my Botox. All of 
of these. Um, here is where I also had two lots of Botox. I've done a chart at the top. And then these blue dots are where I had the Revive, which I really, really bruised. So I had a massive bruise. I'll try and put a picture up, um, which Alexis will hate because obviously... I'm having trouble connecting to the network. Please try again a bit later. Who is having trouble? I'm so confused. I don't have anything that makes that noise. Weird. Um, okay. Anyway, where was I at? So yes, I, I bruised terribly. So I had a big bruise when I had the Revive. Massive bruise, bruise here. And as Alexis did it, she was like, oh no, you're gonna bruise. Um, I'm a bruiser. I think it's because I take a lot of vitamins um, and often people that do, you should stop beforehand because you probably will bruise a little bit more. Um, so this is where I had my Revive. Then the pink crosses are where I had a little bit of filler. So I had a tiny bit through here, which I don't think was very noticeable. And actually, like Alexis said, I didn't really need it. It was more just to pull up a little bit so that I didn't have this line here. My main area was around here, which was bothering me. So around the lip. And I was also, I have a sleep line here. So we put a little bit in there. Sleep line here where I obviously crease my face. And what I was also noticing was that I have a bum chin. I don't know what they're actually called, but I have a bum chin and it was looking not as smooth. It started to look a little bit pitted and a little bit uneven. And I didn't want to lose that, but I didn't want it to look quite so like, like a peach that's out of date, like cellulite -y, do you know what I mean? I just didn't want it to look like that anymore. So Alexis put a tiny bit of filler just in there as well, but was really conscious that we didn't want to lose the chin. I then waited two weeks, went back in, and Alexis took a look at my face and said, right, you need a little bit more Botox up here um, just to stop so much movement. And what Botox does is it stops the muscles from triggering so much. So it kind of paralyzes the muscles so they can't, they don't have as much movement because I am very expressive. I didn't want to lose all expression, but I didn't want to be constantly frowning and I wanted a little bit of lift and Botox can do that as well. So Botox kind of freezes that area filler plumps and revive revives you know puts the plumpness back in but it can be it's it blends in with the skin it's not something that will last for a long time whereas filler is more permanent so i went back in and we saw that my i needed a tiny bit more filler more in one side than the other around my mouth um, a little bit more in my chin and a little bit more here because it was still dropping a tiny bit and then i said I would like a little bit in my lips as well. So we also put a little bit in my lips. Same on both sides, but I think I need, I might still need a little bit more in the bottom lip because the top one looks a little bit fuller. Um, I haven't done this video too quickly because I wanted to wait for everything to really settle in and become part of my face. Um, not that I looked weird in any way, but I wanted to make sure all swelling had gone down and that my face was how it will be. Now I think it's really important that you do your research and you go to someone that you trust and go to a doctor. The reason I would only go to a doctor is because if it does mess up, they can give me a prescription to fix it. They can give me all the stuff and fix it there and then for me. If I go to someone that's not licensed or, or not a doctor, they can't give me a prescription. They can't say, okay, this has gone wrong, we'll do that. And these things can be risky. You have to make sure you make the right choices. It is gonna cost you a little bit more, but it's your face and it, and people are seeing it every day. So a con like I said, a consultation with Alexis is 300 pounds. Um, filler is 700 pounds for your first syringe and 500 for every syringe after. I have got four syringes in my face. Um, and how that works is, or how they say it is, it's, it kind of works out that a syringe per decade. So I'm 42, that's about right. Although I probably wouldn't have had as much, but I had some put in my lips as well. So Botox is 325 per area. So area, area, area. So Revive is a thousand pounds for two syringes. Um, all of that is quite expensive, I know, and not something that everyone can do, but I feel, so much happier having done it 
and it's really important to me to share the journey with you for people that are thinking about it so that they hopefully don't make mistakes. I also will share any mistakes that I've made. Um, for anyone who might later on want that, I think I've done it at probably the right time for me. Um, I don't feel like I need to do more or change anything. I think I might need a tiny bit more in my bottom lip because the top one is a tiny bit bigger now and I always think in structure of the face the bottom lip is slightly bigger. Um, but I feel really, really happy about my decisions and I feel like after my chemo I felt like I had lost 10 years. It doesn't help that I am also now in menopause but I felt like it had aged me 10, 15 years and I really wanted to do something to claim those 10 or 15 years back. Yes, I've done this earlier than I would have, but I would have done it anyway at some point. Um, so I just wanted to be completely transparent and I really hope this might help someone, um, anyone who is thinking about it. I will put the details of everyone that I have seen below so that you can contact them should you wish to. Uh, like I said, it's 300 pounds for a consult consultation, which can feel like a lot of money, but, um, you are seeing the best and you know you can find someone else if not uh, as long as they're a doctor what else was i going to say oh i also have made the conscious decision to have more facials that use devices to really penetrate the skin after speaking to alexis and also speaking to sabrina who did my under eyes for me uh, both of them said, look, this can only go so far, but you really need to make sure that your skin is triggering. As you get older, same as we all feel, you know, if you go for a run, you can't run quite as far. You can't do quite as much. I definitely can't. You, It takes a little bit longer to do stuff. It's exactly the same for the collagen and the elastin and the cells in your skin. They just don't want to function as much. And by having, um, going and having machines that go that work on the skin to kind of trigger those things and wake them up will help your skin to stay younger for longer. So I have made the conscious decision to every three months if I can go and have um, a facial and they tell me what I need at um, Karen Petrove, which that I do, they do gift me, um, just to kind of try and keep on top of it. Because I, you know, when I was growing up, I didn't even use moisturiser. I, you know, I was so late to this. I already made my daughter. I'm like, can you just use a light moisturizer? Um, I want her to get into the process of this becoming habit for her because it wasn't for me. And um, I think it's really important that we preserve our skin as much as we can. And then maybe I wouldn't have had to do these things. I don't know. Um, I probably would at some point. But yeah, I just wanted to be really transparent and honest. And I don't know how many more how many questions I can answer because I like I say I don't know everything there is to know about this but um I'm sure there's other people on here that can answer questions if you have a question as well um yeah that's all I wanted to say so that is my journey of fillers botox revive um and facials I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you found it interesting and um I'll see you soon for makeup next time